Hi, this is Michael Buckoff from OnlineTOEFLCourse.com and these comments are for a student. This is your free TOEFL writing evaluation. You sent me a writing practice test yesterday and uh, I'm going to give you an idea of how I would score it based on the IBT independent speaking rubrics. Where is it? Here. So my my impression is I'm thinking make sure I'm looking at the right one here integrated here I'm thinking in <coughs> the three area somewhat developed explanations examples or details we have inconsistent facility and sentence formation I think word choice you can probably work on that a little bit you have limited range of uh, vocabulary. I really believe that based on what I just read. Okay, so I think your score here, let me think about it here. I'm going to say your score, I'm going to put you at 3.5. I think that's where you are right now. So what do we have? The good news is, is your vo your uh, sentence style is actually pretty good. You have an average sentence length of like 29 words or something. That's pretty high. So you don't have any problems with that. Uh, I'd recommend maybe if you're going to do this, I'd recommend maybe a third body paragraph instead of the two that you included here. Because right now you're at 391 words. Maybe one more paragraph gives you a chance to develop the ideas a little bit more. Okay, having said that, I want to look at one of your paragraphs. So here's what you wrote. First of all, no one can deny the humans have no place in learning how to cope, you want to say, with such a problem. For instance, climate change has many ways by them it can destroy our activities. I would say climate change has many ways through which it can destroy our activities, right? Such as high wind speed, which can harm our cultivation process, and there is no technology that can stop this wind from destroying our homes. There is no doubt that every normal activity we do today would be almost impossible to do when there's a constant high wind speed destroying everything in its path, and cars, for example, would become useless since we cannot dry them in such conditions. But if you say would have become, you want to say would have become useless since we could not have driven them in such conditions. So sometimes your verb tenses don't quite match up either. Therefore, it is obvious. So I don't think, I think that <laughs> I know what you want to say, but you can't quite say it. So here's your paragraph, and I'm going to put more precise vocabulary here so you can see the difference. I mean, your development is good at 125 words, but look at the difference in the specificity in my paragraph. I put, first of all, humans will not be able to learn to live with climate change due to the high velocity winds caused by supercharged hurricanes, typhoons, and tornadoes, right? So I have a lot more of a specific focus here. For example, two years ago, Puerto Rico was pummeled by two Category 5 hurricanes within a 30-day period. Many people died, others were displaced from their homes, and most of the country's residents had no electrical power since the 200, let's say, kilometer per hour winds and the 5 to 6 meter storm surges knocked out the power grid. Two years after the twin disasters, Puerto Rico still has not fully recovered financially. Many climatologists forecast for even stronger and more frequent storms, so society will not be able to tolerate these types of frequently occurring weather events. So that's the difference, really, is this paragraph. What I did is, is I focused on one example of what I consider a hurricane, and I talked about Puerto Rico, how it was hit by two different Category 5 hurricanes within a four-week period. I used that to help illustrate the argument I was trying to make in that paragraph. So when I look at your writing, 
the vocabulary and even you have some grammar problems also in fact after reading the paragraph a little closer I'm gonna change this to 20 points instead of 22 right so this is not an easy fix you need a little bit better control over your language use and better control of your grammar maybe focus ideas a little bit more and I think you can definitely improve your writing. All right, if you have any other questions, uh, I do have a writing boot camp course you may be interested in. So maybe tomorrow or Tuesday, if you have some time, you can come by my office. You can tell me a little bit more about your specific situation. You know, what's your TOEFL score? What are your target subtotal scores? Um, and so on and I can probably recommend a plan that will help you reach your goals I can even tell you how long it will take so I do have office hours just below my name you can see my zoom office hours for this next week so be sure to stop by if you have any questions okay and uh, thank you for sending me the practice test